Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Kyle Henderson along with Andrew Bone. Edric Hill has committed to the Alabama Crimson Tide here with Andrew Bone to break it all down. Bone, take it away. A big commitment today for Alabama as it has finally added another defensive lineman. And we went into this recruiting cycle knowing defensive line was a priority position uh, for Alabama in this 2023 class. Added their first one a few weeks ago in Hunter Osborne out of Hewitt Trustful. Now they add their second one in Edric Hill. And this is a you know, very athletic defensive lineman. His head coach, Leon Douglas, was telling me a few days ago, he said, we started this kid out at linebacker and tight end when he first got to high school. Uh, that's how well he moves for his size. And now he's six foot three, 290 pounds. Uh, but this is a kid that Alabama recruited specifically to play defensive end. Now there's a chance that he could grow into defense tackle once he gets to Tuscaloosa, but they're recruiting him as a, one of those bigger bodied uh, defensive ends uh, in their uh, three, four defense. So this is definitely a guy that, you know, they have had very high interest in for a long time. He received an offer from Alabama in November. November, and really ever since then, they have been really pushing hard for his commitment. He visited Alabama earlier this year for junior day, came back for his official visit in June, and then attended the Champions Cookout uh, in uh, in late July. Mm -hmm. Never had to camp. Uh, you know, this is something that, uh, you know, I find pretty interesting because the majority of Alabama targets that they go after are kids that have to camp. Uh, they want, you know, Nick Saban wants to see you in person. He wants to evaluate you. He wants to sign off and uh, give that green light for you to uh, to make that decision. But Edric Hill never camped. Um, you know, this was just a guy that they liked the entire time after evaluating uh, his uh, his junior film, you know, getting him down on campus a few times, you know, getting that accurate height and weight with him, uh, and then also, uh, you know, evaluating him kind of throughout the spring. You know, this was a guy that they uh, they really liked a lot. And we've seen, a lot, you know, like I said, we've seen a lot of guys that have had to come in, had camp, that have had to earn that offer. But, you know, Edric Hill was right at the top of Alabama's wish list uh, for a very long time. Uh, I thought Freddie Roach, uh, Alabama defensive line coach, did a great job recruiting him, you know, from start to finish. Still got to recruit him all the way until, uh, you know, that early signing period. But I, I feel pretty confident he's going to stick. I mean, you look at the recruiting prediction machine uh, today, it was at 96.7% for Alabama. And I think a lot of people felt like Alabama was in the driver's seat, um, you know, for a very long time. Edric told me back in, I guess it was June, after that <laughs> official visit, that Alabama was sitting in a really good spot for him. We thought that he was going to stretch it out until, you know, maybe mid-September. He told us probably two or three weeks ago that he was looking at a September 24th commitment date, but then last week decided to push things up a little bit, make that decision. He said he was, you know, really confident in where he was wanting to go to school. I think he's known for a good bit. I think he's probably known since about June uh, that Alabama was going to be his choice. And uh, he was ready to go ahead and reveal that decision this evening. Ended up taking a few other official visits during the summer, including trips at uh LSU, USC, um, but you know, in the end, you know, Alabama. You know, he also took a visit to Mizzou, uh, an unofficial visit to Mizzou in late July. But in the end, ends up being Alabama. So big gift for the Tide there to add on to its top ranked recruiting class in the country. Here with Andrew Bone of Bama Insider. Be sure and hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Go check out our coverage back at Bama Insider. Tons of coverage, whether you're into recruiting team all together back at Bama Insider. Uh, team is made of Clint Lamb, Jimmy Stein, Joseph Hastings, Andrew Bone, myself. Tons of coverage. Uh, go check it out at Bama Insider. We're calling all Alabama football fans to go check it out. But when we look at this recruiting class um, and you start to see, uh, you know, where specific needs are, what are, are kind of the remaining needs. And I'm not going to ask you about numbers because everybody's going to ask you about numbers on, on Tuesday night during your recruiting show. But uh, just kind of give me an overview of this class. Where does Edric Phil fit, fit in? Um, who are some other priority targets that Alabama is working as we get towards um, the, the month of September? Well, I think you still have to stay on the defense side of the ball. I mean, offense, you know, absolutely loaded on offense, even though there's uh, still a few guys out there that they're recruiting at certain positions, including, uh, you know, you know, a few offensive linemen who are still out there, even though I don't think they're going to get another offensive lineman. Uh, still recruiting some wide receivers. But 
On the defensive side of the ball, I think defensive line remains a top priority position, even you know, even though they've had some success there in the last couple of weeks with Hunter Osborne and now Edric Hill. You still have a lot of guys out there that you're still pressing hard for that you still really want uh, as a part of your class. I mean, you know, there's still some in-state guys that they are heavily recruiting, including some guys who have uh, committed elsewhere, including uh uh, Kelby Collins, who committed to Florida, and then uh, Peter Woods, who is committed to Clemson. Now, we'll have to wait and see if uh, Peter ends up making a trip back to Tuscaloosa. He hasn't said if he's going to visit again, but we know Alabama is still going to be pushing hard uh, for Peter all the way until uh, he signs that letter of intent. Kelby Collins, you know, he seems like a pretty solid commitment to Florida, but at the same time, uh, he says he is going to take his official visits this fall, including one to Alabama, which he is planning on taking uh, during that Texas A&M uh, game weekend. Now, we'll see if that potentially changes. I'm sure Alabama would uh, prefer getting Kelby on campus for an unofficial visit during the season and then getting him back on campus in December uh, for his official visit before he signs. But we'll see if that visit date uh, sticks for the uh, October 7th weekend for the uh, Texas A&M game. But, you know, still some other guys who are out there, they're heavily recruiting. James Smith out of Carver High School in Montgomery. He's not going to make a decision anytime soon. Probably wait until December. We know uh, Dave and Hobbs uh, out of North Carolina, you know, really made a strong impression on the coaching staff uh, during the summer. Uh, when he earned an offer uh, from Alabama uh, during the June camp, and he's planning on taking an official visit to Alabama this fall. You know, still some other guys out there, including Jordan Renault, who's going to announce his decision on September the 19th between Alabama and Oklahoma. I you know, still feel like Alabama's got a great chance to uh, to land his commitment. Uh, but this was a big pickup today in, in getting Edric Hill on board because you, uh, you want to continue to add to that defensive line class, and this was, you know, we talked about the offensive line class, you know, a few weeks ago when it finally added Miles McVay, Raymond Polito. Uh, you know, it added a lot of guys that we were expecting would eventually be in this class. Edric Kill is a guy that we were expecting uh, as part of this defensive line class for the last you know, three or four months. It's finally happened. Uh, I know Alabama's probably breathing a little bit of sigh, some sigh of relief today as uh, they finally get another defensive lineman on board. But, you know, it's still full steam ahead with other defensive line targets. There's still some other guys out there, including some guys, uh, not just Kelby Collins and Peter Woods as far as guys who are committed elsewhere. So some other guys out there that they're still pursuing. So we'll see how the season goes. We'll always see more kids visit throughout the year that we weren't previously talking about. Uh, and, you know, it could be quite interesting as, uh, as we kind of get into the season and more kids start visiting. Coaches potentially on the hot seat. Our coaches leaving to go elsewhere. Um, you know, we, we could potentially see some uh, seasons go down downhill for uh, for some of these programs where they do have, uh, you know, some top guys committed. So we'll see if some more guys uh, end up visiting the Crimson Tide uh, this fall or even uh, in December when, um, you know, when official visits happen. And, uh, you know, a lot of surprises tend to happen around that time of the year. So we'll see if any more uh, you know, defensive linemen pop up on the recruiting board. Good stuff, Bung. To read more about Edric Hill and his commitment to the Alabama Crimson Tide, go back over to Bama Insider and check out all the coverage. Calling all Alabama Crimson Tide football fans to go check out Bama Insider. Tons of great recruiting coverage along with tons of team coverage that you simply can't beat. Check it out at Bama Insider. He's Andrew Bone. I'm Kyle Henderson. Edric Hill has committed to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Thumbs up, like, subscribe. Let's get this video to 500 likes, and we'll see you back at Bama Insider.